but using JSON serialization means that we cannot clone things whose types are not preserved in JSON format. For example, dates, maps, and sets. So we start off with an object that has a date of birth property, which is of type date. And we create a copy by using json.stringify followed by json.parse. Because the date type is not preserved over JSON serialization, we essentially end up with the date of birth property being a string. Fortunately, JSON serialization for cloning is not a trick that you need to remember anymore because modern JavaScript has a built-in method called structured clone. We pass in the object that we want to copy into structured clone and it creates a new cloned copy. If we modify even nested properties of the copy, only the object in the copy is going to get modified. The original object will remain intact. Additionally, within the copy, the types are preserved as well. For example, maps and sets will copy around just fine. And similarly, date is going to continue to be a date. One thing to note is that structured clone only works for properties and you can think of it as a clone for the structure of the original object. It doesn't clone custom functions that might be present on the object. This is because methods in JavaScript can reference external variables. So if you want to clone objects with custom functions, it is best to create them manually.